One of the most exciting new launches here at Eurobike 2024 is from Classified. They have worked with TRP, launched a brand new group set, and it sounds really cool. Let's dive in and have a closer look. So, what do we have here then? So, here we're standing next to uh, TRP's Vista group set, which is uh, combined with our Classified PowerShift hops. The interesting thing about this uh, 1x12 drivetrain is that it actually is a 1x16. So it gives you 16 unique gears by combining the classified power shift hub and the 12-speed electronic derailleur of TRP into one system. Activating that quantum shift technology, um, you can actually shift through the whole system um, by just one button. Um, and before it reaches uh, a certain cross-chaining, the hub will shift automatically and the derailleur will do a correctional shift. So we have 16 almost seamless gears because the power shift hub is yeah, doing the correction of the uh, gaps that you fill that you have with the uh, uh, derailleur. Okay. No gap, no jumps. Or exactly. So when it when it uh, uh, goes up, um, at some point the hub will shift, and the derailleur will do a correctional shift down okay. to yeah not have that increase in cadence or that sudden drop of a of a gear. Um, but have the most seamless integration um, of uh, the group sets in the market. And as this is not a two-by system, um, and it does not have uh, a front derailleur that uh, yeah, needs time to shift, and then the der rear derailleur needs time for uh, a correctional shift, um, it can happen exactly at the same time. So hub shift and rear derailleur correctional shift are exactly at the same time. When that happens, do you notice it? Is it like a, a, do you have to ease off the pedals? Is it a jolt or is it smooth? And you don't need to ease uh, the power on the pedals. You feel it. Um, but uh, the upshift actually is so smooth that I, when I was testing it, I didn't feel it at first. The downshift is a little bit more noticeable, but it's incredibly seamless. What's the idea behind this? Why have you introduced this feature and not have a manual? So you can have the 12 speaker set and then two speed in the, in the uh, hub. So you could have 24 speed. Using a two-bar system, you don't have the 24 speeds. Usually, you have four, around 14 unique gears. Okay, so duplication. So you have you have overlap between like being on the small chain ring and a certain cassette gear and the big chain ring and other cassette gears. You always have some overlap. So this is the maximization of that system. So with a pre-programmed uh, uh, hub gear shift and the correctional shift by the derailleur, you have um, the 16 unique gears. Um, that give you the smallest steps in between the gears and uh, um, yeah, allow you to stay in your perfect cadence all the time. 16 unique gears. Exactly. Okay. It doesn't take anything away. You can still uh, manually activate uh, okay. the power shift hub as a bailout in case you need it, um, in case you hit a steep ramp um, or someone's like attacking and you still need to uh, <laughs> shift up to a big chain ring. Um, but uh, uh, yeah, uh, in theory, um, if you're like on a smooth ride on your own, um, no need to shift uh, with anything but the right shifter and the rear derailleur. Okay, and these shifters, they're wireless or wired? They are wireless. Um, so uh, there's a handlebar unit um, and both shifters are connected to it. Um, but the, trans the, the signal from the shifters or like from that handlebar unit is uh, transmitted wirelessly to the rear derailleur. Okay. And is that your own cassette still, if not a different cassette? It's our own cassette interface. Okay. Um, we have cassettes from our supplier that we sell, and TRP also produces cassettes for that uh, classified okay. interface. There's no change to the, the free hub mechanism, that, that design. That's... that's a different story. We will introduce a new driver body as well. We okay. have it here on display, but the intention of uh, the TRP group set is to first sell it with these cassettes that start with 11T. Okay. And we have a new driver body that is allowing a 10 tooth start as well. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, cassettes are available from 1128 okay. to 1140. Oh, 1140, okay. Yeah. And the maximum range with the 1140 is uh, 528%. Which is pretty high. Yeah. Okay. So um, there's also, that's the combination with the gravel derailleur. So there's like two options. You have a road and a gravel uh, derailleur uh, cage. Okay. And uh, uh, yeah, they are both uh, uh, compatible with all the classified cassettes. What does it mean for classified companies to have finally a full group set, uh, this harmonious relationship between the shifters and the hub? Yeah, we're super proud of that ecosystem and um, also um, really appreciate the effort that TRP has taken to integrate us in their first offering. Um, I mean, they bring a first group set to the market and we're part of their launch. That's uh, yeah. pretty amazing. So uh, um, we're thankful for that trust. And for us, it means a lot to have that ecosystem to basically yeah, have uh, OEMs or uh, also uh, distributors, dealers, just like shop for one group set that is basically integrating everything now. Okay. I guess there's a stupid question, 
if it's quantum shift, it's only a TRP. You couldn't have a Shimano or SRAM. It's a unique TRP for now, feature. For now, it's a TRP. Like, this is a T quantum shift is a TRP feature. Okay. Uh, TRP and classified feature that we co-developed. Um, okay. And yeah, it's available with the Vista group set. And a group set is available now to buy? Groups that will be available um, late Q4 um, 2024. Okay. So now here it's the first time that we show it also to the industry. Yeah. It's not just like that end consumers can see it and, and riders can see it, but also like to the industry that has not been um, yeah, much of an industry tour before. Okay. Um, and we expect the availability towards end of the year. Um, yeah, and in the, in the time between, we will obviously um, yeah, do media tests um, ship samples to the industry and um, yeah, spread the word and uh, have people like experience the quantum shift. Okay. This is a new driver. So it's called CD27 because of the 27 millimeter diameter of the uh, um, Walkring interface. Um, this new driver interface allows us to use uh, cassettes with a 10 tooth start. Okay. So now we're able to have cassettes from uh, a 1036 for a uh, gravel race, uh, for example, and also um, a 1040 and 1040 T type yeah. for mountain bike uh, applications. We know that the 10 tooth is less efficient than the 11 tooth uh, start cassette that we had on the uh, other driver. 11 tooth start cassettes will also be compatible with the new driver anyway. Um, but um, with the limitations of um, a lot of frames that only allow for a 42, 44 tooth uh, chain ring on gravel or 36 uh, chain ring on the mountain bike, um, we had to introduce a 10 just to give them enough of a heavy gear. Um, and uh, that's the main reason behind that introduction. Um, on top, with the cassette that you see here, the 1040, um, we also have the biggest range in the market with an overall range of 583%. Wow. Is this backwards compatible with previous? This pups? is backwards compatible um, with previous, so with the 11 tooth cassettes and with the previous hub shell. Okay. Um, the driver body itself uh, can be upgraded um, through a classified service. So okay. you send your hub back to Antwerp, get its service, bearings replaced, and a new driver. Exciting. So you've been busy at Classified, haven't you? You've been busy with uh, product development. A lot of stuff going on, and it's, that's just like the, the, the sports and performance segment uh, for now. Um, but uh, obviously, we're here at Eurobike. Um, we talk to a lot of partners, and uh, we're excited for the future. Right, I've made it outside with some fresh air, getting pretty warm in that exhibition centre. So that new Classified TRP looks pretty cool. I love the integration with the TRP shifters, the hoods. They're nice and ergonomic wireless shifting, button feel tactile, and hydraulic disc brakes as well. So that aspect looks pretty good. I like the sound of the quantum shift. I need to try it to see how it actually works on the open road or gravel track, shall I say. And probably easier than managing 24 gears, which you have with a 12-speed cassette and a two-speed hub. And there's always duplication on any group set as well. Any two-by group set of duplication don't actually have 24 individual unique gears. You have lots of very similar gears, lots of overlap. So Quantum is their way to remove that duplication and give you 15 or 16 unique gears from the fastest to the slowest or the easiest, hardest gear. So it sounds in theory really well and on the stand it seems to work pretty well. But I'll reserve judgment until I ride it and hopefully get a chance to ride it very soon. So generally a really exciting introduction Nice to have another player in the group set market because choices are pretty limited. There's SRAM and Shimano at the top end, Campag probably down there somewhere. And new players from L2 and Wheeltop, and there's also a microchip in the more affordable end of the market as well. But that top tier technology laden end of the market, there's not my choice. So interesting to see how a new group set is received by you, the viewers, and also the bike world and whether bike brands and manufacturers embrace a new group set and put it on their bikes as OEM. So interesting times indeed. Anyway, that's the latest video from Eurobike 2024. I'm gonna grab a bike to eat and I'll carry on filming some of the best, coolest, maddest bikes on display here at the show in Frankfurt. But thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe, hit that button down below. I'll see you all again.